Hey everyone, it's the Tuber, and today I'm going to show you how to make your professional YouTube logo with ArtText 2. This app is in the Mac App Store, it costs $19.99 and I think this is also on sale currently. And so let's get straight to the tutorial. Let's launch our app here. Well, there is a window which appears and this is called a template gallery. You can choose a template for your logo. Now, there are only two tabs I recommend you to use for your YouTube logo. It's the buttons tab and the logos tab. However, the logos tab is less com compatible with your YouTube um, logo pixels and stuff like that. So I recommend you to use the buttons uh, templates. Now, there are already some templates that you can use for your logo. For example, this one. Um, and this one well but I recommend you to follow my tutorial to make your logo look exactly how you want it to look well for my logo I used this one but for this video let's customize this one now once you've chosen your logo double tap it or just click choose right here now first thing is full screen your app zoom your icon I mean logo. And so now let's see what we can do with it. Now as you can see here is the menu of your layers. You can delete your layer by selecting one and click the minus button here. Now let's also delete this one. Now if you don't like this style you can choose the style of your logo right here. Then choose your both three layers and just choose the one you want. But let's stay with the previous one. Now if you want one layer to be behind another one, you can just drag it in front of it. If you want your logo to contain the abbreviation of your YouTube channel, click the plus button here. This allows you to add some content to your layers. You can choose text, shapes, icons, you, can, you have several categories like people, custom, or you can even choose a, fo a photo in your finder. If your YouTube channel's abbreviation is BFK, whatever, now type it right here. You can choose the font. You can choose your font a little bit smaller. Now if you don't want your frame color to be like this, tap on it, go to the shading option, you can choose a category of your shading here and then choose exactly what frame do you want to have in your logo this one is a pretty cool one so let's choose this one as the frame now if you want to change your your background tap on it and do exactly the same thing now besides from the shading option you have the textures option and the plain color option or the gradient well, what I recommend you to choose for your background is the shading option. You can preview your shadings here, and once you've chosen the one that you like, just tap on it. You can customize the depth of the shading, its color, the stroke, the one I don't want right now, and you can also add some shadow or glow to it. Shadow is right here and glow is right here. You can also blur it. You can add some distance to your shadows. You can even choose where you want it to be. But I don't want any shadow. Let's customize your text a little bit. So tap on it. Go to the textures menu because here there is one I used for my logo that which I really like. Here it is. It's called Panther Theme. Choose it. Now let's change our frame color a little bit. Let's choose black. So once you're finished with your logo, press Command Shift 4. Select your logo. It doesn't matter if you select more than the logo size is. Then it goes right to your desktop. Open your logo with the preview app. It should be opened by this app by default. Now if you want your logo to be as a circle on your YouTube channel, you need to use 
the smart lasso to choose it because you don't want your logo to be a square with white corners on your YouTube channel. Now once you've selected it, press tools, then crop. You can also use the shortcut which is command K. Now once it's perfect without things like this, you can press file, then save a version. Once it's saved, quit preview, go to your YouTube channel. Once you're in your account settings, press change, press choose file, and then choose your logo. Now if the size of the logo is too big for YouTube, you can always change it in the preview app when you crop it. So thanks for watching, it was the TechnoTuber, and please share this video with those who also want to know how to make a cool logo for your YouTube channel. So have a nice day and I'll see you guys in my next Saturday's video.